So we are so glad that you could still join us on a Friday like this one as we get to give you nothing but the very best of that particular entertainment news. Like you know, the lounge is all about giving you nothing but the best of Zambian entertainment news as we also get to get an up close with the entertainers and with the artists uh, that you follow. Remember that this show, we don't get to play music videos, but it's only for exclusive interviews and also for news and everything that is happening in the entertainment industry. Remember, I am your host professor Lance said of course so excited because this particular morning we have been graced by beauty in the building and of course I'm talking about none other than Ronnie oh if she prefer to be called Ruth but I love the last part Ronnie welcome to the show Thanks for having me. Good yeah, to have you. It's actually Ruth Ronnie, so mm -hmm. I have to say the whole thing. I have to say the whole thing. Yeah. Not the part that I love Ronnie. Well you can say Ronnie. Some people call me that. Oh, yeah. okay. Awesome. All right, so um, it's awesome to have you in the studio. Okay. It's uh, great for me to be here. Okay, so first things first, uh, for people that are watching and seeing you for the very first time, they might be wondering and would love to know who Ruth Ronnie is and uh, where she got the inspiration to get into the music industry. Okay, so um, Ruth Ronnie is an artist, a Zambian artist, and... I've been doing music for quite a while. Um, I started doing music in 2008, back when I was in high school. Um, obviously, by that time, it wasn't as serious as it is now. Mm -hmm. And in 2015, I won a Born and Red Award for Best Female Upcoming Artist. And quite recently, I was selected as one of the Empower Top 10 Artists by Mr. Easy. And so, yeah, I got to go for a music masterclass in Cape Town with some other artists from around Africa. Mm -hmm. So, uh, talking about that, how was the experience and uh, how did you feel being part of the top 10 out of uh, the 100 that uh, were selected by Mr. Ease and then you got to make it to the top 10? Okay, so for for the top ten, actually we had three artists from Zambia. That was me, Trina South, and some other rapper guy. And the experience was quite amazing. We got to learn a lot, and we made a lot of music that people should look out for. It's gonna be out soon. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was a very amazing experience altogether. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, let's now uh, shift our attention to your music professionally. Uh, when did you release your first single, which you felt and you fell in love with it, saying, you know what, this is really going to take me to the top? Okay, I released my first single in 2011. Mm -hmm. It was called Nalema. It was produced by T. Sean. And yeah, it... That's, I think that's the very first song I had mm -hmm. playing on the radio. And then from there, I released a music video for a song titled It's Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's the one that I got the Born and Bread Award for. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've been releasing singles since then. And I recently released an EP. And then I recently released a single, a single that has been on like on the one. charts mm -hmm. <laughs> on the radio mm -hmm. it's called Niziba uh, featuring Urban Hype okay yeah awesome and then uh, also just uh, moving forward uh, in fast forward in your career you get uh, you got to drop your first single your second one a video what, how was the response from the Zambian people apart from you uh, being recognized winning that award uh, for Born and Bread but how do you feel the people of Zambia have received your music? Um, they're actually receiving it quite well and I think my music is different from everybody else's music mm -hmm. but it's doing very very well and I'm so happy about that and even people from like around the world are loving it mm -hmm. so that's great i guess <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah. awesome and then um we come now to the genre uh what genre do you do is it hip-hop reggae r&b 
or maybe you are flexible, you, you do with anything that comes on the table. Okay, so I, I'm very, very versatile, like I do different types of music, mm -hmm. but um, I mainly do a fusion of dancehall and Afro pop mm -hmm. and R&B, so that's my like main sound. Okay. But uh, everyone who knows my music knows I'm, I'm very versatile. Okay, so let's get to look at the challenges that you faced uh, in your musical career. Do have you faced any challenges, uh, anything that you would want uh, to be helped at? Or let's put it in this way, many a times that if you are new on the scene or on the block, it's very hard for you to probably get a feature from the already established artists. Have you ever gone through that phase or maybe it's been all smooth with you? Um, there are definitely a lot of challenges in the industry, especially in Zambia. Mm -hmm. But I think for m most upcoming artists, the main challenge is funding, like for their projects, funding for videos. And if they don't have anywhere to record, it's really challenging to get that. And for me personally, um, the challenges that I had faced earlier is that um, since my music was different, it was kind of hard for me to get people to um to get to like it well not to like it. it per se but uh, i'll use an example of my recent song mm -hmm. it's doing very very well on radio mm -hmm. which was difficult before because it's not the typical song that you'd hear every day but people are warming up to new types of music recently which is great and um yeah, a lot of people have been voting for the song, so that shows that the industry itself is growing and people are more open-minded when it comes to music. Uh, still talking about features, you've talked about featuring the urban hype. Why did you have to choose them in this particular song and leave out the rest? Is it because of the type of the song that you, uh, you did and you felt this would do justice to the song or maybe you have your own reasons? Okay, um, well, Urban Hype uh, is a very, very talented group of artists, and I have been affiliated with them for many, many years. Since the start of my career, I've been working with them, so this is a collaboration that sort of just happened naturally. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really thinking of, oh, why didn't I have this other person and this? because we're just like in the studio at the same time and um, the beat was playing and everybody liked it so they jumped on it okay. and it turned out really really well like it just we just blended so perfectly on that song mm -hmm. yeah wow awesome and then do you have any producer that you feel you can work better with in the industry um looking at the type of music that you do I don't really think about that. I mean, I I, I work with uh, Fumbani, who is FJ. Mm -hmm. He's my my main producer, but I have collaborated with other producers, and I think that we have like a lot of talented producers in Zambia, mm -hmm. and I'm open to working with um, whoever wants to work. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And then any features, big artists, apart from uh, the urban hype, are we looking forward to seeing you collaborate with the big names in the game? <laughs> well, let's say the well-established artists. You mean Zambian artists? Yes, Zambian artists. Um, that's something I need to, like, think about, I guess. For me, I'm just, like, really open to working with whoever wants to work. Um, if I find a song or if I make a song that I think someone would uh, do well on, mm -hmm. I'm open to doing that, yeah. But I've been doing like a lot of collaborations with international upcoming artists. And uh, when I was in Cape Town, I collaborated with some international artists, like mm -hmm. big international artists. Okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, speaking about upcoming artists, how easy is it for them to access you? Uh, as much as you are saying you are very open to work with anybody uh, or uh, talent which is out there, but 
how open are you to them? Can they reach out to you at any time, any point, and then you get to jump on their song or on their project? Okay. So um, this is the thing. Like, I always try my best to respond to anyone who messages me about working together. Mostly on my Instagram, I'm always checking my messages, and I get a lot of messages from upcoming artists, and I, we do discuss... I've done a couple of songs with some upcoming artists, mm -hmm. and yeah, I'm still open to that. So if anyone feels like they want to work with me, they can simply hit me up and we'll talk about it and see what we can do. No, okay, yeah. awesome. And then also now for the fans that are watching any project that they need to look out for for 2019, or maybe you still continue um, promoting Mizi, or maybe there's something big which they need to expect either by the end of the year, by uh, th uh, the third quarters of the year. How have you planned your 2019? Looking that, looking at the fact that we only have six months left. Okay. Well, um, currently I am prom prom excuse me, promoting Niziva. Um, um, I'm trying to get it to number one on radio. It's currently on number two on Power FM, and it was number three on Hot FM. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm just like promoting the single. I will be shooting a video for it really soon. That will be out soon as well. And then uh, I also have my music video for Empower. I'm working on that, and it will be out soon. Then for the rest of 2019, mm -hmm. um, I just have like a lot of upcoming shows that people should look out for that I'll be announcing on my social media. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I was almost coming to that, say, are we going to see you performing anywhere? You as a main act, not really backing other people, but you as a main act, and then you have people backing you. Is that what we should really look forward to? Or maybe it's you getting to support uh, your people? Well, it's just, you know, shows are always different. <laughs> so there's just a lot of different shows coming up. Uh, I will be in Dola. Mm -hmm. uh, performing okay. uh, next week. Mm -hmm. So if anyone is going to be in Dola, they should just look out for me. Okay. And yeah, just a lot of shows coming up. All right, so lastly, uh, let's get to give the people your social media handles. If uh, you are okay with that, they would uh, love to collaborate with you or probably call you for a show. They want you to be the main act. Mm. <laughs> Okay, uh, so on Facebook, it's Ruth Ronnie or at official Ruth Ronnie. On Instagram, it's Ruth.x.ronnie. On Twitter, it's Ruth underscore Ronnie. And what else? Let's do mm. the Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah, but I'm most active on Instagram, so if you want to reach me fast enough you can dm me on instagram all right thank you very much for coming through right, we really appreciate and uh, we hope that um, you will be coming more frequently uh, especially to announce on your next step and uh, what the fans should be expecting from you Okay, thank you so much for having me. All right, you're welcome. Okay, so we've been talking to Ruth Ronnie, and of course, uh, this is massive and great talent uh, that we have right here because she's done so many songs and made many people dance. Remember, it's not easy for you to convince the world out there to get to believe in you and get to believe in your talent. So if you have what it takes to be the next big thing, remember this show, The Lounge, is all about uncovering talent, and if you feel that you've got talent, make sure that you come through on the number which is on the bottom of your screen, or better still, get through our Facebook page, which is The Lounge. Let's get talking and interacting on that particular platform, and then we'll be able to get back to you and expose your talent on live TV.